got very gusty, and it keeps getting gustier, Tom. We've been measuring the wind gusts out here in Hampton all night. Our top gust so far is right around 30 miles an hour. That is expected to pick up at another 20 miles an hour. On top of that, that's what we're probably going to get overnight. Now, we're watching two high tides out here for Tuesday. One hits around 4.30 in the morning, the next at 5 tomorrow night. There won't be that strong gravitational pull that a new moon or a full moon would lend to this case. However, they're still expecting some minor flooding, so they are preparing to possibly close streets close to the shore here. And also with this high wind, they are bracing for possible power outages. You can hear the wind whistling off the ocean. Howling onto shore in Hampton. By nightfall, very few people were out braving the first hints of a blizzard at the beach. It's nasty. It's really windy. Wind is blowing you over. Yeah, it's pretty wild, but you know, it's New England. You know, I lived through 78, so we'll survive this one. The high winds are raising high concern for power outages. Utilities say the fine light snow expected is a blessing, but the gusts could be the curse. The wind can help you in a snowstorm by blowing the snow off the branches and the lines, but in this case, very, very high winds not only poses a danger to the infrastructure, it also delays us being able to safely get out there and do restorations. Power crews are already positioned pre storm. Hundreds more from out of state are available as of Wednesday if needed. Earlier Monday, communities collected their salt from a fresh shipment in Portsmouth. Trucks lined up from the salt pile to the interstate. And Hampton is planning for minor flooding. Some of the low lying roads along the ocean front do get covered over, and we're preparing to shut those road, roads down if necessary. We're also preparing uh, for any power outages that we might experience due to the high winds that have been predicted. Fire departments here and statewide say you need to prepare as well. Keep vents and exits clear of snow drifts along with your closest fire hydrant. We ask that they adopt a hydrant so their local fire hydrant please clear it out and if in the case of a fire it would certainly help us with speed and being able to uh, do what we need to do. And live here at Hampton Beach, we can tell you they are not serving up some hot sauce pizza or Blink's fry dough. Not this time of year and not in these conditions. Another note we wanted to pass along from the utilities, they say if you do you lose power, you can expect to stay out for a little while at least. They cannot send crews out when it's too dangerous to be up in those bucket trucks working on lines. If they have sustained winds of 30 miles per hour, there's no way the linesmen are going out. So it could be Wednesday at the very earliest that power crews are able to get out there. Once again, we're measuring gusts about 30 miles an hour here at Hampton Beach, expecting that to reach 50 overnight. Live in Hampton, Gene Mackin, WMUR News 9.